Incinerating one's soul? Xiao Xian, you are crazy. That huge face suddenly revealed a great shock after seeing the strange flame rising from Xiao Xian's body. His sharp voice cried out, Incinerating one's soul. You are going to completely vanish from this world. Incinerating one's soul? Xiao Yan's body trembled violently as he stood below. His expression immediately changed drastically. Being an alchemist, he naturally understood why a soul would ignite. This was a method similar to the self-destruction of one's body, which made it possible to unleash an extremely great strength for a temporary period of time. However, the price of it was one's life. This soul ignition was similar. It burns one's soul in order to obtain a sudden increase in strength. The price of it was one's soul would completely be destroyed. Ancestor? Xiao Yan's body shook slightly. His eyes involuntarily turned slightly red. Xiao Xian did not mention that he would ignite his own soul. My mission has been completed. It is unimportant whether I live or die. Xiao Xian merely smiled in the face of the somewhat frightened, heavenly tomb soul. After which, he ceased speaking. He lifted his hand, which contained a flame and grabbed towards the ladder from a distance. Immediately, a terrifying suction force was formed on his palm. It was possible to see an intense fluctuation suddenly being formed on the huge mouth of the heavenly tomb soul. It was as though there was something being forcefully dragged out. Do you drag me with you if you wish to die? The heavenly tomb soul roared furiously. The entire heavenly tomb had trembled under its roar. Its huge mouth was widened and an invisible spiritual spear, which was thousands of feet in size, suddenly shot out. It tore through the space and ruthless shot towards Xiao Xian. I have ignited my soul as a price. You are unable to stop me. Xiao Xian appeared extremely calm in the face of the retaliation of the heavenly tomb. He smiled slightly and directly extended his hand. After which, he clenched it gently. A sharp sonic wave erupted. The spiritual spear came to a sudden halt. Finally, it turned around with a wave of Xiao Xin's sleeve. Instead, it shot back towards the heavenly tomb soul in an even more ferocious manner. There was even some strange clusters of flame on the spear. It was the flame from the incineration of a soul. Swoosh! The speed at which the spear shot backwards was extremely quick. Within an instant, it had directly turned into a fire glow that penetrated through the huge face. Immediately, the flame contained on the spear seemed to have met some dried wood. It spread at lightning speed with a boom. Ah! The spreading flame caused a miserable screech to be emitted from the heavenly tomb soul. If it was an ordinary fight, the heavenly tomb soul might be slightly cautious of Xiao Xian, but it would not be terrified of him. However, the latter had incinerated his own soul the moment they started fighting. Naturally, his strength had soared. Even the heavenly tomb soul had a great difficulty fighting Xiao Xian. Moreover, the flame from the incineration of one's soul had an extremely lethal effect on a spiritual body like the heavenly tomb soul. The huge spiritual face in the sky was covered by a flame. Finally, the large face shrunk rapidly. At the same time, waves after waves of uncontrolled spiritual assault continuously erupted from within his body, causing the entire place to be turned upside down. All the energy bodies were frightened to the point of fleeing far from this region. They were afraid that they would be completely destroyed if they got caught in the fight. The purifying demonic lotus flame burned around Xiao Yan's body. Although the spiritual assault was extremely strong, it was still possible for Xiao Yin to resist it with his strength. Hence, he did not step back. His eyes were tightly focused on the battle in the sky. Xiao Xin's current spiritual strength had already reached quite a terrifying level. Regardless of how Xiao Yin probed, it was impossible for him to detect a limit. Clearly, the incineration of his soul had allowed Xiao Xin to enter an undefeatable state. However, 
Xiao Yin involuntarily clenched his hand tightly the moment he thought of how this condition would require Xiao Xin to pay his soul as a price. The current Xiao Xin might only be a soul fragment, but he was at least still surviving. After this battle, however, his soul would completely vanish from this world after it was completely ignited. Xiao Xin, I will not let you off. The huge face shrunk within the flame. A moment later, it actually turned into a human form. Scarlet eyes stared intently at Xiao Xin as a murderous desire surged. Xiao Xin completely ignored the roar of the heavenly tomb soul. Both of his hands were placed together. They swiftly formed many complicated seals. With the formation of the seals, many fire light suddenly shot out from his fingers. Finally, they swiftly entwined together in the sky and turned into a huge formation. At the middle of the formation was the heavenly tomb soul. Sizzle, sizzle. Before the heavenly tomb soul could react to the created formation, rays of flames began to fall from all directions within the formation, after which he heard some sizzling sound. Countless rays of flames penetrated through the body of the heavenly tomb soul and hung it within the formation. Bang, bang. The heavenly tomb soul struggled wildly in the face of this entanglement. Waves after waves of spiritual fluctuation, which caused even Xiao Yan's expression to change, continuously smashed onto those rays of flames which entangled around him like a cannonball. However, those seemingly weak rays of flames seemed to have a great restraining effect on spiritual strength. Regardless of how powerful the spiritual attack was, it would swiftly pale upon contact with the rays of flame. You must be really underestimating Xiao Xin if you think I am unable to finish you off in this state. Xiao Xin glanced at the wildly struggling heavenly tomb soul. He smiled faintly. His voice was not loud, but it had a domineering ripple. Even though the ultimate expert from back then was currently a soul fragment, he still possessed a dominating aura. Xiao Xian, let me off. We can discuss whatever you want. The tone of the heavenly tomb soul had been softened greatly after struggling futilely for a long while. It understood that Xiao Xian was far stronger than it in his current state. However, if it could delay the time, Xiao Xian would vanish even if it did not attack. There is no need for any discussion. Hand over your spiritual essence. Xiao Xian merely smiled in the face of the soft tone of the heavenly tomb soul. The countless rays of flame suddenly pierced ruthlessly into the latter's body, after which the rays of flames were slowly withdrawn. With the movement of the rays of flames, it was possible to see a ten feet large crystal clear light cluster slowly being extracted from within the body of the heavenly tomb soul. A bright light scattered from within this crystal clear light cluster when a portion of it was exposed. Xiao Yan's hand was extended into the light cluster in front of him. A warm feeling immediately appeared within his soul. Currently, he seemed to be able to hear the greedy cry from within his soul. Is this the spiritual essence of the heavenly tomb soul? Xiao Yan muttered to himself. He had once obtained some of the spiritual essence from the Hall of Soul after destroying the Man Hall of the Hall of Soul. However, the spiritual essence back then appeared insignificant as compared to this light cluster currently in front of him. The purity of the latter was many times stronger than those spiritual essence within the Hall of Soul. Roar, roar. The heavenly tomb soul emitted a wild beast-like roar after this soul essence was forcefully pulled out. It had finally become afraid at this moment. Xiao Xian, release me. I will hand the entire heavenly tomb to you. You can have everything you want. The heavenly tomb soul continued to scream under this fear. However, its scream was completely useless. Xiao Xian did not even bother to look at it. The seals formed by his hands changed rapidly and the rays of flames were enlarged. Finally, half of that crystal clear light cluster was forcefully dragged out from the body of the heavenly tomb soul. Xiao Xin, 
I am going to fight it out with you. The heavenly tomb soul finally understood that it would completely perish unless it fought all out after sensing the rapidly diminishing energy within its body. Light surged from within its body. Some flames actually began to surge. It was also forced to ignite its own soul. Bam! However, the fire seedlings had only just rose from its body when a palm suddenly descended from the sky and ruthlessly slammed onto his face. That great strength directly sent him flying. At the same time, the round crystal clear light cluster also emitted a puff sound and was dragged out from within the spiritual body of the heavenly tomb. Don't. Return it to me. A weak feeling immediately filled the body of the heavenly tomb soul after its spiritual essence was being forcefully extracted. It roared crazily as it charged towards the spiritual essence. Xiao Xin waved his hand in the face of the heavenly tomb soul, which was charging over. A frightening wind forced the ladder back, causing it to smash onto the ground. The eyes of those energy bodies in the distance suddenly became red after the heavenly tomb soul landed on the ground. Hatred flickered within those eyes. Finally, they rushed forward from all directions amidst a low and deep roar and crazily attacked the incomparably weak heavenly tomb soul. Ah! The heavenly tomb soul was naturally unable to block such a number of attack after its strength was extracted. Hence, miserable screech soon sounded. Its body was also shattered into dust. A furious soul fragment that was filled with dissatisfaction drifted upwards before gradually scattering with the wind. This heavenly tomb soul had actually ended up with such a fate. The blood-red eyes of those energy bodies on the ground immediately became much clearer after the heavenly tomb soul disappeared. The desire of wanting to devour the other party when they looked at those around them had also diminished greatly. They were startled for a moment before all of them knelt respectfully towards Xiao Xin in the sky. Xiao Xin did not bother about the action of these energy bodies. The ten feet large crystal clear light cluster was suspended in front of him. His eyes looked towards Xiao Yin below and smiled slightly. Little fellow, this is all that I can do. Whether you will be able to break through to the D-state soul will completely depend on your luck. Ancestor? Xiao Yin looked at Xiao Xian, who was smiling warmly. His nose involuntarily felt a little soul. Refine and absorb it, Xiao Xian grinned. He flicked his finger, and the crystal clearly light cluster in front of him slowly flew downwards. Bright light was continuously emitted from within. It appeared just like a warm sun. Xiao Yin watched the crystal clear light cluster suspended in front of him. The vast and mighty spiritual strength spreading within it was as deep and unfathomable as the ocean. Even his perfect heavenly state soul appeared quite tiny in front of this spiritual strength. The heavenly tomb soul was formed by the soul fragments of countless of experts after their deaths. The spiritual strength it contained could only be described as terrifying. Ancestor, Xiao Yin will definitely revive the glory of the Xiao clan. Xiao Yin inhaled a deep breath of air. He once again noto respectfully towards Xiao Xin in the sky, after which he did not say anything more. He took a stride forward and directly walked into the bright light cluster. Immediately, a light flashed and swallowed Xiao Yan's entire body into it. Xiao Xin's body appeared a little pale as he stood in the sky. He looked at the crystal clear light cluster, which appeared just like a sun. A pleased smile was formed on his face. He was extremely satisfied with this descendant. Perhaps, Xiao Yin was able to finish what he was unable to do back then? There's still some time. Hopefully, I can wait until you exit your retreat? Xiao Xin muttered. He immediately sat outside of the light cluster. Those calm eyes occasionally swept over the ground. All the energy bodies hurriedly looked away and back off by a great distance under his glance. The spiritual essence of the heavenly tomb soul was a great temptation to them. However, 
it was clear that no one dared to allow this temptation to take root under the deterrence of Xiaoxian. This place was a seemingly endless sea. Waves churned over the sea. There seemed to be waves of roars that originated from within one's soul resounding over this place. Xiao Yan's body floated in the air above the sea. His eyes looked towards the sea below. There was a dense shock within his eyes. The light cluster did not appear large, but he did not expect that there was another world behind it. After Xiao Yan's probing of this sea, he had ended up with a shocking conclusion. This sea was actually completely formed by spiritual strength. It was the first time that Xiao Yin had seen such a vast and mighty frightening spiritual strength. Compared to this spiritual sea, his perfect heavenly state soul appeared to be completely insignificant. Unexpectedly, the heavenly tomb soul is this terrifying. No wonder even ancestor has to ignite his own soul. Xiao Yin frowned tightly. Only at this moment did he understand why Xiao Xin would have to use this kind of mutual suicide method when attacking the heavenly tomb soul despite his ability. It was actually because even Xiao Xin did not have the confidence to defeat the heavenly tomb soul in his normal state. The heavenly tomb soul had already disappeared. All the spiritual strength is this place does not have an owner. Xiao Yan's throat rolled involuntarily. If rumors of this was to spread, it was likely that all the experts from the continent would rush over in a crazy fashion. As long as one was able to refine the spiritual strength of this place, their soul would definitely reach a relatively terrifying level. It was even possible to reach that legendary D state soul. This gift that Xiao Xin had bestowed upon him was a really great one. Xiao Yin clenched his fist tightly. His eyes also gradually became determined. Now was not the time to be indecisive. The reason Xiao Xin had paid such a hefty price to provide him with this gift was to allow him to possess some ability to resist the Hun clan. Xiao Yin currently did not have much time left. He must not waste it. The flow of time in this place is also different compared to the heavenly tomb. Xiao Yin lifted his head. He looked at this space and a grave expression was formed in his eyes. He discovered that the richness of the spiritual strength in this place had actually altered the flow of time. From a certain point of view, this was a heavenly tomb that had been shrunk by many times. However, the flow of time in this place was likely even slower than that of the heavenly tomb. A heavenly tomb within the heavenly tomb. Who? Xiao Yin let out a long breath. He gradually steadied his emotions. The time in this place was slowly than that of the heavenly tomb. This was good for him. Otherwise, he did not know if he was really able to refine all of these vast and mighty spiritual sea within two months or so. Xiao Yin sat in the air. His body slowly descended from the sky and landed on the surface of the sea. Spiritual strength swiftly surged out from his brow. After which, a low cry sounded, and it turned into a huge illusory figure that was a couple of thousand feet in size. The illusory figure covered around Xiao Yin and sat down. Fierce, purifying, demonic lotus flame began to spread from within the huge, spiritual, illusory body. It directly dyed the spiritual, illusory figure into a flame-covered person. A terrifying heat spread throughout this space. Rumble. The spiritual sea, where Xiao Yin was located, began to whistle after the purifying demonic lotus flame covered Xiao Yin's spiritual illusory body. A 10,000 feet large swirl was formed below it. Spiritual strength shot out from all directions. It seemed to have suffered a kind of intense pull as it began to turn into many thousand feet large spiritual water pillar that continuously shot into the huge, spiritual, illusory figure. Sizzle, sizzle. The seemingly real spiritual water pillar heavily smashed onto the spiritual, illusory figure. However, waves of sizzling sound was erupted after the spiritual water pillar touched the purifying demonic lotus flame. Dense white fog rose. Finally, 
It turned into a cloud that covered Xiao Yan's huge, spiritual illusory body. The spiritual strength of this place might be considered vast and mighty, but it was a little mottled. After all, the heavenly tomb soul had been formed by absorbing countless of souls belonging to dead experts. However, this was not considered troublesome for Xiao Yin, who possessed the purifying demonic lotus flame. The purification ability of the purifying demonic lotus flame was extremely useful when it came to refinement. Moreover, there was also literally present within Xiao Yan's body. With just a thought, all of the purifying ability would merge into the spiritual strength within his body and refine it into the purest form. Many huge, spiritual water pillars continuously leaped from the surface of the vast and mighty sea like huge pythons. Finally, they poured onto the spiritual illusory figure seated in the sky. It caused the huge illusory figure to gradually emit a fluorescent light after a fog that could cover the sun was erupted. Looking from a distance, it actually appeared like a divine statue standing in this world and was filled with a monstrous pressure. This refinement effect could cause many to be greatly shocked. The spiritual sea had also began to form many huge waves with the flow of time as it continuously rumble over this world. While Xiao Yin was devouring and refining the spiritual strength like a whale, the pressure emitted from his soul also gradually became increasingly terrifying. His surging spiritual strength gradually approached the legendary state at a steady pace. One month passed. It had been a month within the heavenly tomb since Xiao Yin had entered the cluster of light. Xiao Yin did not show any sign of exiting his retreat during this month. The interior of the light cluster did not emit any strange fluctuation. Everything was exactly the same as one month ago. Xiao Xin was quietly sitting outside of the crystal clear light cluster. Both of his eyes were slightly shut. He appeared like a meditating monk. His body had become much paler as compared to a month ago. Moreover, from his appearance, he had also began to age. Everyone could tell that he was already about to reach the end of his life. However, he continued to wait persistently. Many energy bodies on the ground watched Xiao Xin's gradually paling body. They felt some grief. The saddest thing was the fall of a hero. Xiao Xin was a matchless individual both when he was alive and when he was dead. However, he was now merely showing the lethargy of an ordinary old man. The eyes under the white eyebrow twitched. They were slowly opened. His elderly face revealed a smile as he looked at the cluster of light in front of him. His body had also become a lot more illusory at this moment. Little fellow, my time's almost up. The old man's soft mutter resounded over the sky. One month within the heavenly tomb was just like a year for Xiao Yin, who was deep within the spiritual sea. The enormous spiritual illusory figure sat on the sea. Rich cloud covered the entire world. The spiritual illusory figure had become increasingly real. At the end, it had basically been turned into a real giant that was a couple of thousand feet in size. That manner was as though it was a Xiao Yin that had been magnified by many times. Xiao Yin's breathing was just like thunder. A dense cloud surged into his nostrils like a dragon cloud. His hair was like a 10,000 feet huge waterfall. His clothes fluttered, and a kind of terrifying huge wave was stirred on the surface of the sea. A king of the world like Aura seemed to be vaguely emitted from the enormous spiritual body. This Aura was as though his was the overlord of souls. Many energy bodies quietly sigh after the final day of the second month within the heavenly tomb had arrived. This was because the elderly figure in the sky had paled until it was almost invisible. Even though this was the case, the old man continued to wait quietly. An obsession seemed to have allowed him, who had reached his end, to remain in this world. It seemed, I am unable to wait for it to happen. The already transparent like figure in the quiet sky fluctuated slightly. Xiao Xin grinned. 
His eyes revealed a little regret. Little fellow, I feel extremely rest assured that the Shao clan has you. Goodbye. Xiao Xin's eyes were slowly shut. His body also became increasingly pale. Bang! However, the space within the heavenly tomb suddenly trembled intensely while Xiao Xin's body was about to disappear. A ripple that seemed to belong to the overlord of the world swiftly spread. All the energy bodies involuntarily shuddered wherever the fluctuation spread. That pressure could not be resisted. The eyes of Xiao Xin, who was about to vanish, finally revealed a pleased expression after detecting this fluctuation. This descendant Xiao Yin bids ancestor farewell. In front of countless pairs of shocked eyes, a 10,000 feet large figure, which caused one to hold one's breath, swiftly appeared in the sky. Immediately, the figure slowly knelt down towards Xiao Xian.